ready? Oh, yeah, dead center. Today we'll be testing a 12 gauge slug from the country of Lithuania by a company called Max Snipe. This is a 1 and 8 ounce steel slug with a flat nose. The flat nose allows the slug to cut straight through brush rather than being deflected off course by it. The power hunt consists of a large steel core bonded to a plastic stabilizer tail that also functions as a gas seal. The entire unit flies downrange in one piece. So it's kind of like a non-discarding Sabo, I guess. Originally, the Power Hunt slugs used a yellow plastic, but through testing, they found that using the natural or clear plastic offered better strength and other benefits. Welcome back, Talflator folks. Jeff and OG out here with you. Hey, we're back with Max Snipe. You've seen these a couple of times. Jeff's loaded some up here with 23 grains. Of log shot, yeah. You've got 25 grains down here. And a whole bunch of them here with 30 grains of long shot so yeah we'll, maybe we'll be able to show that it's very possible to overload a slug and, and push it too hard beyond its design limitations exactly that's what i was thinking so we're going to run these max snipes against a russian spy satellite downrange um we're, we're trying to take out all the russian surveillance so you can see downrange our russian spy satellite <laughs> if you didn't catch the story on that go back to the video about the taylor swift uh tv <laughs> TV overtake. <laughs> Let's get to some of these max snipe rounds though, all right? Okay, I'm I'm ready. Here we go. Holy lord. No chronograph reading. No chronograph reading. Moderate recoil and accurate as all get out. Look at that hole. That's good. That's good. Okay, I'm I'm ready. Here we go. The engineers at Max Snipe recommended that we use 1.5 grams of long shot, which is 23 grains. The performance was outstanding and the accuracy was great. So let's see what happens if we add a little more powder and push it a little harder. Okay, 25 grains, long shot. A little bit off. A little bit off, but not too bad. 12.98. Pushing the slug a little bit faster, well, we lost a little bit of accuracy. Let's see if that trend continues, though. Okay, 30 grains. 30 grains. Aim at the first hole in the center there. So put it in the same hole is what you meant. Exactly. To All right. Yep. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Oh. Low and right. More recoil. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. With this much hotter powder load, not only did we lose even more accuracy and stability, a piece of the slug actually broke off the back of it. Okay, 23 grains again. We'll get a chronograph reading this time if we're lucky. 25 yards or 22.86 meters. There you go. Keep everyone happy. Okay, I am ready. 12.04. Nice solid hit. Yeah. Using the recommended powdered load, we had, again, good accuracy, and we were dragging a shockwave across the ground, as you can see. It was a light shockwave, but we were still above the speed of sound. Twenty-five grain now. 25. See if it retains its accuracy. Seems the 23 seems to be most accurate. That's that's not much of a difference, but yeah, our last ones, our tests went a little bit low and right. Yeah, yeah. As they got hotter, so. Yep, yep. So 23 grains ready when you are. 25. 25. 25. Yeah. Using 25 grains of long shot, we gain a little bit of velocity. We have a stronger shock wave traveling across the ground, but we're losing accuracy and stability. 
So it's really looking apparent that these slugs in particular are very sensitive to powder load variations. 30 grains. Yeah, I, I predict to be using the same point of aim, it'll miss. All right, the blue jug when you're ready. I'm ready. Same point of aim on the label. Yeah. Using 30 grains of long shot, we just pushed it way beyond its design limitations. The slug actually broke into pieces. We're dragging a really strong shock wave, but all stability and accuracy is just out the window. Okay, 30 grains, part two. 30 grains, I'm gonna hold lower than the label this time. Okay. When you're ready. I'm ready. Yeah, really does not like 30 grains. Where did that one even go? Thirty grains again. The slug didn't break up this time, but we just have very poor stability and accuracy again suffers. Thirty grains. Thirty grains. Okay, I'm ready. Go. There you go. Fifteen forty-three feet per second. We gave it a third try using 30 grains of long shot. Not very good stability. The thing was swinging around like a pendulum. And I think it was just sheer luck that he hit the jug. I mean, even a blind squirrel will find a nut once in a while, right? Next target is, uh, is the mud test. It's a good point to uh, stop and, and thank our sponsor, Mud of the Month Club. Um, they're the ones that send you those exotic muds from all around the world. Yeah, if you want to help us out, join the mud club. 23 grains. I'm back to 23 grains. The Seems most to be the most accurate. Yep, they are the most accurate of them all. We're going to hit the jug o mud. The mud test, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Oh yeah, dead center. Using 23 grains of long shot gave us very consistent results and good accuracy. Now remember this is a heavier 32 gram projectile still traveling at supersonic speeds and we have a very respectable amount of energy still. Folks that hit thing hit right in the center of mud. Center of mud and in the back look at the big mud That's hole. That's some nice mud there. <laughs> Well, it's uh, that's exotic mud. You, it's you premium. Smear that mud on you while you wear your Wrangler panties. Yeah, <laughs> you're a platinum mud club member, aren't you? Yes. Folks, you've seen it before. The Benelli Nova with the rifled choke. Let's give the 23, 25s, and 30 grains uh, Max Snipe a try through the rifled choke and see if that affects anything. We've already determined that the 23s are very accurate. The 25s are fairly accurate, and the 30s seem to be all over the place. So let's try them through the rifle choke. Maybe that'll change things up. 23 grains, rifle choke. I'm ready. Remember that thing shoots a little to the left. All right. Does it count for that? Okay, I'm ready. No problem. Got it. 23s are accurate. 13, 13? 13? Out of a longer barrel. Now using the rifle choke tube, gives the slug a little bit of a spin and we can assume that might make it more accurate, more stable, but we really didn't see that. The slug seems to perform very well out of a cylinder bore. Considering the shotgun that Greg was using didn't have any real optics on it, he's just using the front bead sight, so that's not bad accuracy. Okay, 25 grains. I'm gonna do what I can to aim at the X. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. 1291. 1291. Now pushing the slug a little bit harder using 25 grains of 
long shot. Uh, even though we got a good spin there, the slug is no more stable. Now we're getting a higher average velocity using the Benelli because the barrel is so long. In fact, over a foot longer than the barrel on the Weatherby that he was using earlier. All right, 25, part two, holding to the right edge. Okay, I'm ready. I see more damage down there. Yeah. Now in this shot we see a little better stability, but what you want is consistency too. So we definitely saw consistency using 23 grains, the recommended amount over, you know, 25 or definitely 30 grains. The target's a little smaller. Something hit somewhere. Yeah, maybe you just hit 17, the mud. 1745 off of that. And finally, using 30 grains, we just see a complete mess. The slug is almost completely out of control. I'm surprised he was able to get it that close to the target. Using the rifle choke didn't uh, stabilize the slug at all, and driving it at 1,745 feet per second was just way too much for this slug. Well, we'd like to thank our Patreon supporters for making this video possible. These are our latest supporters, and some that have actually increase their pledge amount. I thank you for that, though I'm very happy if, if people just donate a dollar. The stress of trying to do YouTube full-time is just agonizing. Uh, not only are more videos being demonetized, and now they're now they're playing with the view counts. I'll, I've, I've looked at a lot of different channels and their views are like half of what they were just a couple weeks ago and the same thing has happened to me. I can't even describe how much of a relief it is to have you guys support this channel. Thank you.